Hello, St. Croix family. It's hard to believe that here we are on May 1st. Seems like it's been forever since we have been together face to face, whether it be in chapel or just at various different gatherings. Uh, as we head into May, this should be the time of great celebration and the culmination of so many different things, but yet this is where we're at. And so we will continue to give you updates as we are able to on a week to week basis. I wanted to start out uh, this update today with just a sincere apology. This apology goes out to our students and to our parents. Um, Wednesday evening, we found out that uh, there were a number of student items that were, that were missing from their lockers. Uh, when we went through and had certain lockers cleaned out or the lockers cleaned out, uh, there was an obvious miscommunication on what was supposed to be done, and, and that's on us. Uh, we failed our students, and we failed you as families in making sure that some of those precious keepsakes and pictures um, were preserved. Uh, we really thought that they were somewhere. Uh, then yesterday we found out that, unfortunately, we don't believe they are anywhere, um, and we don't believe we'll be able to recover those. Uh, the other thing that I think really hit us was in a time when coming to have some sort of closure, uh, emptying out lockers would have been one of those ways to have some form of closure. Once again, uh, it is our deepest apology. Uh, it was not our intent to hurt anybody, but it clearly has become um, obvious that we uh, have hurt our students and we've hurt our families through this and uh, we apologize. We take full responsibility for that and uh, ask for your forgiveness, but um, once again, please know that we are sincerely sorry for what has happened. It was certainly not our intent and uh, hopefully uh, we can support you better in the future. I wanted to give you just a few updates and I will use a little bit of a PowerPoint here. So let's start with our updates regarding um, high school graduation. So high school graduation is something that we still hold out hope that we will be able to have in a semi-traditional manner. Uh, yesterday, the governor gave an update, and that update gave me a little bit of hope. Uh, but at the same time, we have to be prepared for other possibilities and other options, uh, depending on uh, really how things develop over the next month. Uh, so we continue to evaluate options. Uh, we've enlisted the help of some parents as well to just kind of consider what the options may be so that we can celebrate the end of the high school career for so many impactful students to St. Croix. Um, this is really important to us, and I know it's important to you as parents and students as well, and we're trying to find the best way forward on this. Uh, I do want to also update that there will be no high school semester exams. In the next week, there will be an update regarding how the academic semester will come to an end uh, for high school students. Um, so look for that in subsequent updates. As far as the summer goes, um, maybe you have heard, uh, but the international camp has been canceled. Uh, with the impact of COVID-19 around the world, there have been a number of countries who either are just starting school back up after a number of months, or just simply are not in a position to be able to even enter the country. And from that perspective, we just had to cancel the camp for this year. This is a huge impact for us as a St. Croix community just because it's such an important part of uh, our experience for our students, but also the opportunity for us to be able to reach out to different people th from around the world. Uh, we look forward to the return of that in the summer of 2021. At this point in time, sports and academic camps have not been changed, um, but I do think we need to be cognizant of the fact that there's a very good chance that the June camps may need to be rescheduled. It is our hope that we'll be able to get all of those camps in at some point during the summer, uh, but at this point in time, no change. 
but continue to look for updates on possible reschedules of those June events if those are needed. We are hopeful that in early June, we will be able to start bringing small groups back into the building to begin uh, workouts, off-season workouts. I just think that will be a great opportunity for students to get back together with their coaches and just get back together as students. Uh, once again, we are really at the mercy of uh, the decisions that are made at the state level, and uh, but we are hopeful that in June things will begin to return to a bit of normalcy. As far as construction goes, for those of you who have been on campus or in the building, you know that the building is a mess. Um, there are people moving all over the building, many offices are being moved around, many classrooms are being repurposed for the summer months. Uh, it's just a mess. Uh, that's a good thing and a bad thing, but uh, it is going on. Uh, there are some cool things that I'll update you with on the construction that just to keep in mind if you want to drive by someday for something to do. Uh, we are off schedule for the construction process, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, the, the blocking off of the front of the building was something that was actually scheduled for June. Uh, that is happening now. In fact, it happened in late April. Um, so we are, I wouldn't say we're ahead of schedule. In some areas, we definitely are ahead of schedule, uh, which will help us be able to use the building more effectively in the fall. Uh, there will still be significant challenges in the fall, but for the most part, um, we're really looking forward to what the possibilities will be. Um, excavation is planned for next week, although there's not a, a significant amount of excavation going on with this project. Uh, that will start next week, so we'll be having some dirt moved around and some concrete flipped around. Uh, Geopeering, uh, if you're not sure what geopeering is, I encourage you to uh, do a little Google search and you can see what geopeering is. That will take place in probably two to three weeks. And then we look forward to uh, the walls starting to go up in June um, or even uh, late May. So those are all kinds of things that are still in the near future and look forward to that progress as well. We have decided to take the mindset regarding fall that we are going to have students on campus. Now, we fully realize that there may be some things that we are going to have to change with procedures and classroom setups and, and a whole host of things. But we have decided that we are going to focus on having students here in the fall and doing the things now to start preparing for that, whatever that may be. Um, and, and that's just an important piece for us as we look forward, uh, that we, we need to be ready for whatever challenges may be there in the fall, but we want our students here. We want to be able to interact with the students. We want to be able to have that family feel back into this building. We also, though, are fully cognizant of the fact that we need to be prepared to support students that just simply can't be on campus for a variety of reasons, whether it's travel or whether it's health related. So we are also looking at that com complexity and starting the process of planning on what that all looks like. There is so much to do, uh, but we really look forward to sharing more information about all this in the future. I can't give you a date when that's going to happen, but we, it will be an ongoing process of really looking at what needs to happen and then preparing for um, what is happening. A number of people have said, well, why can't you just give us answers? Well, I wish I could. Um, there are so many things that we just don't know yet. Um, I think for all of us, we just really would love to have some level of certainty, sometimes even knowing what the bad is, is better than not knowing what the good or the bad may be. But we don't know the path forward, uh, and so we, don't, we can't make definitive decisions on a lot of things. But at the same time, we continue to walk by faith. Uh, we know that the one who guides the path is the one who walks the path with us. Uh, he knows exactly where the end point is, um, but we continue to walk by faith. I really encourage you to call or email myself or one of the other principals uh, when the questions come to mind. Um, we will certainly try to give you answers. I can't guarantee answers, but we certainly would, would like to try to answer questions that you have. 
as I said, um, the vagueness of our answers may only be because the data that we have is just not good enough for us to say, yes, we're going to do this. No, we're not going to do that. We would love things to go as close to schedule as possible. And that's why we tend to hold on hope and hold on making decisions uh, as long as we possibly can. So that is our update for this week. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, this is difficult for everybody, but it's especially difficult for our students, um, especially difficult for our seniors. Our hearts go out to you um, as May is supposed to be filled with so many different things than what it looks to be filled with. Um, I know that we continue to do uh, the scoreboard lights, and we certainly uh, love seeing our students here on campus when that happens. The one thing that I will mention is please uh, try to not be here too early. Make sure that you're uh, not gathered together in large groups, that you are properly distanced so that there are no problems. Uh, we would, the wor worst thing we would, that could happen is that for some reason uh, the local police would drive through and, and push you away because maybe you've congregated in a way that was unsafe. We want you to be safe but we also want you to be here if that's possible. Um, I'm not encouraging it necessarily, but we certainly love seeing it. Um, but also please know that as soon as the lights go off, the campus closes again. Um, once again, just want you to be safe. Until we can see each other again, we wish you the Lord's blessings. Uh, can't wait till we can be together again as a St. Croix family. God bless.